in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. Hey, Ja, look. See what's not falling off my shirt? Inside joke for all my real ball sprayers, you know what time it is. That episode that Ja's Nike check was having like a seizure and falling off his shirt. Epic. If you haven't seen it, the link will be in the description below so you can watch that video of Jaws Nike check slowly deteriorating and falling into a fucking comatose. Might as well put that shit in hospice. It was dying. The fragrances that I got for you today are actually something that I put in my Scentbird queue. Now, this is not a sponsored Scentbird video, but I am Mr. Fucking Scentbird, so I obviously have a subscription. There's two fragrances that I actually chose this month to come in. Because I haven't heard much about this house. And I'm curious why. Because the bottles look fucking wild. Crazy. So I picked these two fragrances out. And I want to share a little experiment that I did with them at my place of work. So let's roll my motherfucking music and see what happened. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A, yo. So I got two fucking fragrances that we're going to have a side-by-side -side comparison of what my co-workers actually thought of these fragrances. So I actually got two fragrances in my Scentbird queue. And the fragrances are, I got a matte black joint and I got like a rosy blush gold kind of thing. Cool. So this one in matte black is by the house of Robert Graham. And it's Courage. And this one is Robert Graham Fortitude. I haven't heard much talks about Robert Graham fragrances being any good. But one thing I do like is the presentation of the bottles of these two. I'm going to put a picture somewhere over here. Fucking cool looking. I like a good presentation, especially if you have a glass cabinet, you put it up there. These look real dope. Very kind of like dark, sexy, a little demonic maybe. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? We all got a little dark side in us. Not me. I'm a saint. But not many people say shit about these fragrances, so I decided to pick up two of these puppies and see what is what. But I didn't want to have the initial reaction. I let my coworkers do it for me. So what I did was I picked out 10 people in my office and I went around with these two fragrances. These 10 people know absolute shit about fragrances, but they obviously know what they think smells good and what doesn't. So I gave them one first and then the other. Now, I don't have my little post-it. I had a post-it and I did a tally, but I clearly remember because it was kind of a landslide choice. And the winner, eight to two, was Courage. Now, the fragrance Courage is absolutely a mass appealing monster. It has some sort of reminiscence of kind of an Aqua de Gio mixed with, I don't know, maybe like a Chanel or a Dylan Blue-esque. Some of those mass appealing beasts and had very decent performance on my skin after I tested with all these dirt bags that I work with. Now, Fortitude is a little bit riskier and that might be why the people in the office were kind of like, eh. So it was actually eight women and two dudes out of these 10 people. People like the safer bet as opposed to the more riskier. Obviously, I enjoy Fortitude a little bit more. The reason why I'm saying obviously is because I want to deviate from that mass appealing monster. It is very, very nice. Don't get it twisted. The two people that chose Fortitude chose it for a very particular reason. They were like, this one smells very generic. I feel like I've smelled something similar to this before, but this one feels a little riskier, a little bit more daring. And I got to agree. It's on that dark tobacco-y amber vibe, which is not something that's unusual to us, but I keep forgetting not all of us live in this fucking fragcom bubble. There's normal people walking amongst us superheroes that don't give a flying fuck about amber, tobacco, creamy, oud. They don't give a shit about none of that, right? So that was a good social experiment for me to check out between these two Robert Graham fragrances. The majority of the people really fucked with this one because it smelled safe. It smelled mass appealing. They smelled it like they've smelled something like this before. This one was a little riskier, a little bit more bold and daring. Their facial expressions when they smelled Fortitude was more like, oh, that's different. 
This shit wasn't that different to me. Y'all fragheads know what that sweet tobacco ambery kind of man-made 1821 kind of vibe, but less piercing and a little bit more wearable and subtle. Fortitude right here performed better on my skin than Courage did, and I enjoyed it a little bit more. This one is a fantastic fragrance if you're looking for a safe option to get that you're not gonna be disappointed about. This one, if you wanna feel a little bit more bold, a little bit more daring, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna unbutton that blouse two buttons lower just to show a little cleavage, you go four to two. If there's any other Robert Graham fragrances that I should try, put me on, son. You know I stay looking for the new shit. Now I know which one of these is the ball sprayer. For me, it's going to be fortitude. You know I'm a sucker for that dark tobacco. Yep. Yep, yep, smelling like a creamy Cuban cigar. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart, and these, eh, my cigar is smelling fire right now. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, it's your boy, Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, holder roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.